We should probably record a, um, a bit of an intro. <laughs> That's probably a good place to start. So, um, all right. So let's let's do a, a quick intro. So, David, thank you for for joining me on this. You're welcome. And uh, you know, like we were saying before, hopefully you know um, you're able to you know you get something out of this that you enjoy. And, and because we record this on on YouTube, um, you'll have a, a reference to come back to, and uh, we'll put it up on GitHub. So there's always something there. Yeah. All right. So let's let's have a look at Unity Hub. Okay, so what we have here is it, it sort of starts with the projects view, and then you have installs, so whatever. Um, they've actually changed, yeah, they've changed the, the UI touch. Um, so the versions of, of Unity that you have. Um, the LTS, so Unity has a long-term support version, you know, like a lot of other tools. Um, and there's their kind of more up-to-date one. Um, this is this is actually cool. There used to be a different way of installing the Unity game engine, uh, and they sort of switched to this. And initially, it was a pain when they started introducing this, but it's good now because you can, as you choose things, you can choose. Okay, so for instance, I should have updates. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole process of installing this. But the cool thing here is you could choose like Android support. That's probably going to be a bit hard to see. Or, or can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So they got Android build support. This used to be really hard to get the Android build tools separately, but now because they include this when you build the uh, when you install the editor um, or iOS or whatever else, you, you kind of get it, and, and Unity knows where to find it. So it actually works a lot better now. And so that was something that happened with Unity Hub. And then you can choose documentation. Uh, which kind of builds you want to have? So you can do Linux, you know, Windows, you know, a lot of other platforms. Uh, actually, that's new. Linux build support with IL2 CP, CPP, so that's kind of cool. So they convert the .NET, you know, AL code to C++, which gets baked into their C++ game engine. Um, so there's probably something to point out there is, you, you know, with uh, Unity, you've got these two layers. You've got the what they call the player. The main engine is actually built in C++. And then for components, they have that in .NET, so there's like a .NET layer. And whether the .NET layer gets compiled out to C++ to native code is something you can choose in the way that you build. All oh, right. So you can have it running in mono, you know, the open source .NET implementation, uh, or you can have it running as um, native code. And then they have pre-releases, which will be like new betas and things like that. So, so the Unity Hub. Uh, using that to install Unity is actually quite cool, because, especially if you want to build for mobile devices. Actually, okay, yeah. Um, so yeah, Unity Learn, which we talked about before, we can get um, access to various tutorials and things. Um, they've always had tutorials, but um, this this feature makes it a bit easier to access. Um, and community, I don't use that often, but you know, it'll be ways to you know, blogs and forums. Actually, the forums I I have used in the past sometimes. Um, up here you can see you've, you've got your uh, Unity account um, and that can be useful because if you log into the Unity Asset Store it'll be the same account uh, and you can manage licenses. So for instance I had, um, I do actually have a paid uh, personal license so I can return the license and sometimes that goes a bit crazy and so um, sometimes you need to go through a process of you know, releasing the license and getting it back. Um, but if you're just using the sort of community edition, that shouldn't really be an issue. Okay, so let's go back to projects. So let's make a new project. So there's a few choices. Okay, <laughs> this is a new thing. Um, okay, samples, actually all templates. Yeah, so they have a few different templates. Um, so 2D and 3D. So 3D core would probably be the, they have a few different rendering engines. So there's the old, it's called Global Illumination, which gives you the lighting and shadows and all that stuff. And so they've had an old version of, it, of the rendering engine, which the normal 3D core would give you. Um, the And then you see HDRP, which is High Definition Render Pipeline, and URP, which is Universal Render Pipeline. These are the new ones that Unity have created. and it, 
and it means that in terms of how you know the scene is lit you know with you know, lights and and how you have shadows and all that stuff is now a program a, a programmable pipeline which is cool and you can actually write your own custom code for that so if you want to change the way things look in a really deep way you can you can get into that that's very advanced <laughs> yeah. um, but it's it's kind of cool because uh, when you use these these uh, sort of templates or this sort of rendering uh, they have these these tools now for doing uh, special effects and shaders so if you want to create your own really custom materials uh, it's much easier to use this um, so the old yeah the built-in renderer I think eventually they will drop the built-in renderer and they'll be using URP by default I think that's their intention at some point so URP is for mobile devices and it's like a lower um, like lower uh, so in terms of um, if you've got a powerful graphics card then HDRP is awesome right and that's where you get something that's really like gorgeous you know you know want yeah. gorgeous shadows and if you want to have scenes of forests and things like that and you know you want all that detail in the forest that's where HDRP is is um, awesome and it will be much better than the built-in renderer and uh, URP is great for mobile devices and where you don't know what kind of you know graphics card somebody has so for a broader audience, URP is pretty good. But both of these are, like I said, that's where you can use all their, the new tools for customizing your, your materials and, and uh, special effects. Uh, so why don't we go with a sample scene? Well, well, we'll do it later when we do the mini project together, but um, I'll, I'll create a project here. Uh, now, okay, so first of all, the other trap is got to think about where am I going to drop this? So actually, designer tech is fine. So it's fine. I'm not going to change that. Uh, project name. We'll call this oops, overview. Shall I follow along? Um, yeah, you can do actually. So if you want to create okay. create project, yeah. And my screen looks a little bit different to yours, but I notice the version is the same. Okay, I can stop sharing so you can um, you can share your screen. Okay. Uh, Unity Hub. Oh, where did, where did it go? Ah, so you've got a slightly older version of the Unity Hub. So it went oh, to. Is that a, what it is? That's oh, what okay. it is. Yeah, which is fine. So if you hit new, um, actually, if you hit new with the drop down arrow thing, you'll get more choices. But it's okay. Um, that's yeah. That's where you can choose the version. That's right. Oh, okay. Yep, and then then you'll get that's the. Right. So this, this doesn't have the 3D in front of it, but I'm assuming this is the same thing. You should get. It should ask you about templates somewhere. Um, maybe hit new again because it looks like it didn't come up or the dialogues disappeared. Oh, maybe it's gone behind the Unity Hub window. Is there anything? Oh, I know what it is. I can't see it. Um, it's just a separate program, is it? Yeah. Share my desktop. Share your desktop. Yeah, that's probably the easier way. There we go. Yeah, I can see it now. So, universe, yeah, right. Universal Render Pipeline. That's what we've got. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the same thing. And then just change the name to Overview or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. That's yeah. all right. And um, yeah, and you can choose a different uh, project folder. Like it's a base folder. So the the name of the project will be will that'll become a folder as well. So so if you set a base folder for your projects. Then you know whatever you call the project will, uh, will become yeah. another folder, and then all the code and stuff for that project yeah. will go into that place. So if you're happy with yeah yeah Unity project yeah. yeah cool awesome. So then if you hit create, go there. All right nice. Now okay. All right so now I'll hit uh, create project and chug chug chug. The Unity editor will start in a second. So we'll just create all the base files, and here comes Unity. Yes, that'll take a little bit. 